guys this is Jo um, for week 28 and 29 update I am hoping to um, show you what I've done so far in the baby's room it's not finished but um, just want to still try and show you what I've done um, before the end of this video okay um, I thought I'd better make this video quick because um, if I don't do it now I'm feeling a bit tired i um, got a few other stuff to do and if I don't do it now I'll put it off again for another two weeks and didn't want to put it off again because um, I really missed you and just wanted to say hi again and fill you in on what's been going on. Um, I've been getting a lot of pressure pains down below. I previously tried to make this video twice and both times I couldn't because I was getting breast and hicks and they were really hurting. Um, and um, the pressure pain down there, I'll get those when I get breast and hicks as well. The midwife says that I can either get a support belt or a, or, sorry, do um, pelvic floor exercises, which um, I have been doing. I haven't got the support belt because they were really quite expensive. Um, and I didn't want to spend that much money on something that I wasn't going to use um, regularly. Um, so I have been doing the pelvic floor exercises and they have been really good um, and really helpful in so much that the pains have not been getting them as much anymore. Um, I've not been sleeping very well. Um, apart from last night, um, my son didn't come into my bed last night. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I'm not been sleeping because once my sleep is broken it's hard for me to get back to sleep and so I had a good sleep last night but generally speaking I'm not sleeping very well and I'm really really tired and no amount of fluoridix is going to stop this tiredness because it's just because literally because of lack of sleep um, I had another scan and I told the doctor that I didn't want another scan and she says, well, I have to have another scan at 37 weeks, whether I like it or not, because if um, they're going to allow me to have a vaginal birth, then they need to know what's going on with the baby. And I don't mind doing that. I don't mind having a scan so that they can see what's going on. But uh, if she thinks that she's going to decide what sort of birth I have, she's got another thing coming because um, it's a long story but I nearly lost my son and I've said this before because of the doctor's intervention and I won't do that again. And I've already decided I'm having a vaginal birth at home and my midwife is supporting that and that's all I need. So the doctor can say what she wants to say. So hopefully I won't have another scan until um, 37 weeks. I've had so many already, I just don't want any more. That's the only reason. Um... We haven't chosen a middle name for the baby, so if you've got any good ideas, please um, let me know. Um, we've been struggling that for a few with with that for a few days now. We've got a first name which we won't reveal until baby's here, or at least not on YouTube until baby's here. Um, the baby's been moving around a lot. He moves around a lot, especially when I'm in the bath. Um, he, I think he likes being in the bath, but he doesn't like hot water. So whenever the water, I, you know, top of the bath, um, and he feels the warm water, he moves right up under my ribs. And I noticed today and yesterday that he also moves under my ribs when he hears the water, before the temperature's even changed in the, the bath, when he hears the tap um, running, um, the faucet or tap, whatever you call it, when he hears that sound, he moves up as well because obviously he's expecting heat. Um, and it's quite funny. Um, nothing much else is happening. I've been um, running around like a headless chicken, trying to sort out the baby's clothes in his room so that, you know, I don't have to do it at lastminute.com. Um, so that's been a bit of a headache. And I'm waiting for that nesting period to kick in so that... I will have the energy to finish doing the rest of the house. Um, because there's a lot to do and I've only got about 11 weeks left. 
so um, I need the strength and energy to get it all done I'm going to quickly show you around the baby's room um, what I've done so far it's far from finished um, but I'm going to show you what I've done so far and then um, I'm going to say bye bye so let me just show you around I'm gone. Okay, this is the cot, the, the cot, this is not the bedding that we're going to stick with, this is just, I've just put this on as something to put on the bedding, um, there's one of his toys in there, he's got some books down here, and another one of his toys in there that's got to attach to the cot, and a fluffy dog, I really love this dog that his auntie brought him, my sister, he lives in there for now and also I just want to show you this mobile that I made um, I absolutely love it, I brought the um, the teddies from a shop um, they were quite inexpensive and then I just bought ribbon and attached it to this loop and um, hung it from the roof. I'm not really keen on mobiles being attached to the cot because I know that they can be quite um, dangerous and plus they're a bit close to baby's eyes I think for them to focus on properly but maybe I'm wrong and maybe mine's a bit far I don't know because it's you know it's attached to the roof it's kind of there and if you imagine baby will be down there so it could be a bit far. Um, this is wardrobe He's had some new clothes. I really adore this um, sleeping bag sleeper that I brought for him. It's Winnie the Pooh. I really love Winnie the Pooh. In fact, I've realised that I don't actually love Winnie the Pooh. I actually love Tigger. I think Tigger is so gorgeous and so cute. But obviously, he usually comes with Winnie the Pooh. Um, and I do like Winnie the Pooh as well. I bought him this little outfit as well. Um, with Winnie the Pooh on the, um, the bottom there, which is quite nice. And he's got his money jar um, with Pooh on it again, and Pooh Bear. Um, yeah. And I got this clock. I love this clock. Um, I found it in. Um, a shop quite inexpensive quite cheap and I just really really liked it and, and that's just sitting on the windowsill there and then there's some bibs there's some bibs on the radiator that need drying and the charger <laughs> that needs to come off and of course the chair and then I've got a chest of drawers in here I don't know if you can see I've got a chest of drawers on the top I've got a changing mat it's just a very basic changing mat and I just covered it with a cloth and it's got a baby pattern on it but it's quite cold so I put this on it um, for when he's changing or having a bath um, this board here that you can see well, I don't know if you can see it this is going to have a pattern put on it and I'm going to hang that above his car and then in his chest of drawers, I've got wet wipes, just a few. I've got nappy sacks, nappy bags, nappies. Um, what are those? Breast pads? Two breast pads. Most of these were sample stuff that I got. Then in here I've got Vaseline. I've got um, cotton buds and some body wash, lotion and surface cleanser and some nappy rash cream and also some cotton wool wipes for if I'm just doing a top to toe on him and that's it really um, oh one last thing, I've got this little bag that I bought and in here I've just put extra nappies extra nappies cotton wool, white and nappy sacks so that I can take those downstairs 
and um, change him if I need to. And that's it. That's baby's room. Okay, guys, you take care. Bye.